Welcome to Popcorn Planet. We are live and our main topic is a little bit of fun and drama, pop culture, pop music, drama, and I got two amazing people to go with it through it with me. And look who's back. It's it's Kim as I well know. as Steph, the alternative with the most glamorous haircut. No offense, Kim. You look great too, oh, but Steph clearly I'm just taken. like stepped out of like some like, you know, Gucci stylist session you look amazing steph, steph Bravo. just walked off the runway that's all yeah it's exactly it's, like, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's it's all. hard to not to say we're not worthy you know we're not worthy uh but guys i'm so happy to have you both we were starting the show if you're watching live make sure you hit that join button you can always watch the full show we have a lot more fun talk about a lot of stuff pick a level uh, as we try to test some new stories and angles so what we're gonna be doing the next month or so to sort of see what we can talk about that's not just you know that woman <laughs> Uh, and stuff, which we've, we've, I'm trying to, there was a, there's a, there's a new lawsuit and stuff. I may try to get into it. I want to get Lauren here to cover me, but let's, let's talk about something else. There's some, uh, pop culture shade happening out there. And I wanted to go through, uh, this, this drama. There are two artists who have hit singles now, right now. First up, all oh, these ads are just getting harder and harder to, to scroll through. I can't even like close it. Uh, Miley Cyrus, her new song flowers is, uh, clearly throwing some shade. At her ex-boyfriend, I thought I had the picture here. Oh my God, there's so many images, it's hard to... There he is. As I said earlier, not Thor, Chris Hemsworth, but Liam Hemsworth. Hunger Games, Hemsworth. You know, I call him like Diet Hemsworth. He's like, you know, not the... not. He's not Coke, he's Diet Coke. But some people like Diet Coke better, so I guess it's a compliment. Uh, but he's, you know, he's the other brother. And uh, Miley was with him for a while. They were together. They were married, right, Kim? Or yes. engaged? Yes, they were married. Oh, they got married. They got married. Yeah, ex-husband. That's right. So they were together uh, for, uh, I think, like 11 years or something. Uh, not, off and it was on, a while, yeah. right? Yeah, off and on, It was on, a yes. good chunk of time. They were a serious couple. And, uh, you know, recently no longer together. Now, she's dropped this new song, Flowers. I'm not a huge Miley fan. I've said earlier in the show, I like Wrecking Ball. The cl I like classic Miley stuff, Pop Pop Miley. Never got into bangers and, and stuff. This song's slowly grown on me, I will admit. I don't think Steph would love it that very much. But I, I will give it more props based off of the more I learn about this song and its meaning. So apparently, apparently, the, as the TikTok investigators investigators have said, uh, apparently Liam Hemsworth dedicated the Bruno Mars song. Um, what's it called? The Bruno Mars song. What's the title of that one that we're talking about? When I Was it's, Your Man. Okay. Thank you. When I Was Your Man. Uh I should have bought you flowers and held your hand. You know that song. I can't play the music here because we get dinged. Yeah. Should have gave you all my hours when I had the chance. You know that song. It's a good yeah. Bruno Mars song. And uh, those lyrics are seemingly what Miley has made her own chorus about because apparently Liam, at some point, the rumors are that he dedicated this song to her at some event or some moment. And so now Miley's throwing this shade through the lyrics by basically putting the contrast of them. So Bruno Mars sings, I should have bought you flowers. In her new song, she goes, I can buy f buy myself flowers uh, and held your hand. And then she goes, well, write my name in the sand. And then Bruno's song, should have give you all my hours when I had the chance. She then goes, talk to myself for hours, say things you don't understand. Uh, Bruno singing, Steph take like, you yes, to every... Yes, right? I'm here take for you this. To, yes. Now you're liking it, right? Like, once you know the meaning, you're like, okay, this song's pretty badass. Take yeah. you to every party because all you wanted to do was dance is what Bruno sings. I can take myself dancing and I can hold my own hand. Oh, yeah. And then now my Bruno sings, now my baby's dancing, but she's dancing with another man. Yeah, I can love me better than you can. So, boom. Like, she's, <laughs> it's what I love about this, guys. It's like, usually I don't going to get into like who's cheating on who and whatever. It's like none of my business. But I just love the artistic shade. Like, it's not a flat out, like, screw you, Liam, I hate you song. She's, like, going on a few levels deep. And then the people are able to dissect, 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 decipher, <laughs> decipher, <laughs> thank you, uh, decipher the lyrics to then you're like, oh, whoa, that's really clever. Especially if there's, like, a meaning to Liam in that song. And she's able to do it that way. Like, Taylor Swift obviously is very good at that, too, Kim, of, like, mm -hmm. breaking down really specific, that scarf. You're like, damn, Jake, that scarf. You kept the scarf? Um, a lot of deep cuts that Tyler does, but I, I got to give Miley props. I think this is very empowering in a very clever way, apparently, allegedly, to just completely savagely burn Liam's Hemsworth. Steph, you had a bit of reaction. What do you think? Does this make you like the song a bit more? Well, it depends on the tune. 
but I appreciate the lyrics uh, with me being in phase two of uh, my Steph life right now. Um, any kind of like kick backside kind of like single lady song I'm proper like deucing to. Um, at the moment, I'm going a little bit old school with George Michael Freedom. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I do Good like one. the old school. I do like my, like my 80s and 90s. Kind of like pop and rock kind of situation. So yeah, I've been kind of dabbling into that a little bit. So yeah, yeah, it's good. the the other The other nod, apparently, not confirmed, but it is. If you, I don't. Again, I can't play the song. Sorry, but there's a point during the chorus. I guess it is where if you you can literally sing Gloria Gaynor's "I Will Survive" to like the the beat. Dun, 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 like is the Miley song, and there's like a few little neuro, like very clear nuances to music people who can see the iteration of "I will survive as long as I know how to," you know, like you can sing that, sing it in the cadence to the chorus, almost implying like it feels like that song must have been playing while they were writing it, not like stealing it, but like borrowing the uh, the tempo, the, the tempo and the energy, uh, which again another amazing empowering song. So. The more you look into this flower song by Miley, it seems very clear. Not only the shade there, but she's standing up and saying, you know, I don't, I, I'm moving on and it's over. Kim, what are your thoughts on this one? And then we're going to move on to Shakira. But what do you think of this flowers uh, shade? If do, do you think it's shade? Absolutely it is. But I, I think for me, the first thing that I thought of is I, I guess I, I kind of actually started to like Miley Cyrus's music around bangers. Um, and then I started to, you know, kind of follow it and, and, and watch her kind of evolve. And I have to say one of my favorite songs by her is one that came out, I think it was maybe last year or two years ago called Midnight Sky. And I feel like this is kind of like part two of Midnight Sky because Midnight Sky was lyrically about her going out for herself for the first time and feeling amazing and knowing that she could go out by herself and not feel like she needed somebody else. And so like the lyrics of that song are literally, I was born to run. I don't belong to anyone and I don't need to be loved by you. And there were parts of that song that referred to different people. Like Liam was one person in it, but there were other people that were referenced. So I'm not surprised at all that she's come to a place where there is a full song just about him and that because Bangers itself as a record beginning to end was about her relationship with Liam. Hmm. Yeah. So th therapy for her has always been like this. She's always done this with her relationships. And people don't talk about it the same way they do, like, let's say t Taylor Swift. But it's absolutely the same thing for her. And I think it's been beautifully done. And there's so many little things of shade about this, even down to, like, and I see you pulling it up, that the music video for this song came out on Liam's birthday. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Couch. 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 I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty obvious who this is aimed at. Uh, yeah. 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 There it is. Well, all right. So we got Miley. Steph, I'm going to have you vote. Who who burned who burned their ex more? We have that. Those are the sort of references to Miley. The new Couch. song, obviously newer, a little bit newer, like a day or two. Mm -hmm. Uh but now Shakira, Shakira also in the news Shakira, for Shakira. seemingly slamming her ex, not only her ex, <laughs> but her ex's new girlfriend in oh. this new song, uh, which we're going to go through. Right. So uh, what this this one's wild. You can the song is in Spanish, but if you can turn on the subtitles on sp in English, you can really get a lot more to it. But let's go back and get a little his back history. For those of you who didn't follow this story of Shakira, she was with uh, Gerard. They shared two children. Or this, they were together 11 years. Two, two children uh, before announcing they separated last June. Uh, when they separated, I, I remember seeing like Chris Evans, like every hot available single guy in Hollywood all started following Shakira as soon as she was like single. Because come on, Shakira's Shakira's a she's a she's a good one. Shakira is Shakira. Yeah, I mean, come on. I'm not, not, not trying to seem like I'm creeping, but of course, I think even yeah, my late Jami's like love Shakira. Who doesn't love Shakira? She's a legend. Uh, those hips don't lie. But anyway, they had this uh, regret to confirm that we are parting ways. They said in a joint statement for the well-being of our children or our highest priority. We ask that you respect their privacy. Later discussed in the breakup during an interview with Elle, she said the details were hard to talk about as she admitted she was really going through it. 
Uh, this is really hard to talk about personally, especially because I'm still going through it and because I'm in the public eye and because our separation is not like a regular separation. And so it's been tough, not only for me, but also for my kids, incredibly difficult. I can only say that I put everything I had into this relationship and my family. Um, many fans speculated that he had cheated on Shakira with, uh, but neither has, has explicitly confirmed it nor denied it. Uh, apparently he'd been seeing model bar Rafael during their relationship. That's began to circulate again, speculation. The claim was made by a photographer journalist who alleged that, uh, she had made frequent trips to Gerard during the early years of their relationship. Um, Shakira did not address the claims though. She did release a series of pointed lyrics that appeared to reference Gerard shortly after the infidelity rumors came to light, uh, in her song, Te Feliciado, which was released last April. She says in Spanish, to make you whole, I broke myself in pieces. I was warned, but I didn't take heed. Don't tell me you're sorry. I know you well, and I know you're lying. When she later asked if that lyric had anything to do with her and Gerard's relationship, she said, I can only say that either consciously or subconsciously, everything I feel, everything I go through is reflected in the lyrics I write in the videos I make. I look, I got to stop and give her props. She's Because again, they got kids. This is tough stuff. This is personal stuff. She's being very careful of like, yeah, I will I will address it in my lyrics and nowhere else. It's none of your damn business. I'm not going to get involved in this. But yes, take whatever you want from my song lyrics, which is what she does. That's where it should go. That's her art. That's her therapy. Uh, she now has now done a new song, B BZRP Music Session number 53 with DJ Bizarap, uh, which released this Wednesday and has already become like the highest viewed YouTube, uh, Spanish language YouTube song, I think, ever like huge numbers. Um, and the English translations uh, really, really, really throw immense shade. In fact, I think better to just, here we go. Uh, sorry, I already caught another plane. Sorry, all these ads. Um, I won't I won't be back here. I don't want any more disappointments. So much talk of being a champion. Ooh, because you know, his football championships. And when I needed you, you gave me the worst version of you. Sorry, baby, it's been a while since I should have booted that cat. Uh, a she-wolf like me isn't for rookies. Damn, she-wolf being one of her, you know, big songs. Labeling her a, him a rookie. A she-wolf like me isn't for guys like you. Ooh, for guys like you. I was out of your league. That's why you're with someone just like you. Damn. <laughs> Damn. She's like telling it like it is. This is for you to be mortified, to chew and swallow, swallow and chew. I won't get back with you. Not if you cry, not even if you beg me. It's clear that it's not my fault if they criticize you. I only make music. Sorry if it splashes you. You left me with your mom as a neighbor. I mean, just in case it wasn't clear who she was talking about. We'll come back to that in a second, Steph, if you haven't followed that part. It's you beautiful. left me with your mom as a neighbor. Hard to fit that in as a lyric, but she did it. The press at my door and a debt with the treasury. You got to remember, she's also uh, going under a trial for tax evasion. So this alludes like, uh-oh, was that his fault? They were married. Is that part of the reason? You thought you'd hurt me, but you made me stronger. Women no longer cry. Women get paid. Yes. Bam. And we'll talk about that in a second, too, because she's made huge bank off of this song already. Um, she's got uh, the name. Uh, here we go. And then... um. Pre-chorus, she's got the name of a good person. Clearly, it's not how it sounds. She's got the name of a good person, clearly. Uh, a she-wolf like me isn't for guys like you. For guys like you, I was out of your league. That's why you're with someone just like you. And then the next line, last this, verse. This part. There's a thin line between love and hate. Don't come back here. Trust me. No hard feelings, babe. I wish you good luck with my so-called replacement. <sighs> I don't even know what happened. You're acting so weird. I don't even recognize you. I'm worth two 22-year-olds. You traded in a Ferrari for a Twingo. You traded in a Rolex for, for a Casio. Casio. <laughs> You're all worked up. <laughs> Slow down. As, as, ah, so much time at the gym, but maybe work out your brain a bit too. <laughs> Damn. Pictures wherever I go. I feel like a hostage here but it's all good. I can be out by tomorrow and be my guest if you want to move her in too. She's got the name of a good person. Ooh, clearly it's not how it goes. She's got not the name of a good, good person. She will flag me as in, but there we go. Outro. Ooh, for dudes like you, for you, I was out of your league. That's why you're with someone just like you. That's it. Bye. Uh, well, that <laughs> felt like a therapy session. <laughs> 
<laughs> I felt like Shakira hooked up with this DJ and he's like, let's just let it rip. Just get it all out. I'm going to give you the killer. I'm going to give you a killer beat. Just get it all out there. Put it in the song. And yeah, the YouTube and people have reacted uh, hugely. Uh, going to you first, Kim. What do you think about this? I love this so much. And I feel like as much as it's awesome to read the translation so that we understand it, there are a few things that I think are lost. There's a lot of wordplay. Um, so things like when she's saying clearly, it's actually reference in, in Spanish to the name of Clara, who's the other woman. So she keeps repeating it over and over. And there's also a few other word plays on his name too. So it, the way that it's written is fantastic. As a lyricist, she killed it. Absolutely killed it. Um, and it's it's cool to see. I, I, I like seeing people stick up for themselves. Yep. And I, I think she has been through a lot certainly sounds like it um and i hope like as she said women don't cry anymore we get paid the, the best revenge is your success the best revenge is moving on and being awesome without them and i love seeing her do it yeah and she's made a huge sum but uh, reported already made half a million from the youtube like over the weekend half a million from amazon uh, 360 from spotify 1.2 from apple so she's made about 2.5 million over the course of literally just a few days on the release of this song on residuals. So yeah, that's getting paid, Steph. What do you think about that? Well, she's getting paid. Fair play to her, <laughs> right? Um, I have to admit, though, I was a bit bored. I was a bit bored with it. Sorry, I really, really was. I mean, it's all good, you know, full shade at him. Fine, 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 fine. But with the Miley Cyrus one, I was a little bit more like awake to it because it was like... She was more about, no, screw you, I'm better and this is why. I can do my own dancing. I can do my own shiz, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yes, I can I can feel for that. Here, it's like the other way around. It's you're a div, you're a div, you're a div, she's a div, she's a div, she's a div, with a little bit of I'm the she-wolf. But, uh, yeah, whatever. She's making bank, she's making money, like fair play to her. And this is the way that she wants to vent out her anger uh, about the situation again. Fair play to her, right? But, nah. The Miley Cyrus one just had a bit more spunk to it. It's well, subtler. Like, yeah, give me more. Miley Cyrus is subtler while being more empowering. I'll give you that. Whereas yeah. the, the, the Shakira one definitely feels like a roast. Like <laughs> she's just she's just stepping on this guy uh who I, I mean I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, she's she's definitely upset with what he's done in the relationship. Uh, and he's not, she's not letting him cry this time. It sounds like it's been multiple times uh, and she's sort of fed up. What's interesting to me where this drama gets a little bit more uh, amazing and Kim, you can help elaborate this because part of the reason I do like Shakira a bit more is because there's a lot more to it. But yeah, the, I said, I'd come back to it. You left me with your mom as my neighbor. Yeah. Like it's not subtle, but, uh, yeah, she really was stuck next to his mom. They bought houses and her mom uh, was next to her. So apparently Shakira put up a witch doll on her balcony, which is said to have faced her former mother-in-law's home. Uh, and I guess here, is this the image of the witch? Yeah. She put a witch on her balcony to stare down the mother-in-law. And apparently there's a speaker that is playing her diss track 24 hours a day. Wow. <laughs> Yikes, don't piss off Shakira. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, you're. I don't disagree with you, Steph, but, I mean, this it's, one's definitely spicier. <laughs> it's my understanding well, the, the, that... The, the, the troll levels would be yeah. up at the height of um, Bunda proportions. Let's Who's in the way. chat? Bunda I meant the perfect full circle. Trolling. Bunda, our, our favorite troll. What's up, Bunda? Good to see you. But yeah, the troll's off the level. Yeah. Uh, anyway, does that help? Does that make it a bit more fun for you, Steph? Or are you still saying it's boring? Eh. I appreciate the troll. However, I, I still prefer Miley's song. Miley's lyrics. The only other thing I wanted to add, though, is apparently part of why there's the, rich on, the witch on the balcony is because his, mo his mom knew that he was bringing home other women to their house. Oof. So it's that's my understanding. Allegedly, um, let's be careful, allegedly, right? Allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly <laughs> speculation. Basically, yeah, all that. So that's part of why that's there because she's calling her out on being like, you knew. 
So you were co- you were holding the co- covering up for your son who was yeah. being a scumbag so for eleven you years. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. doesn't sound like that was just something that they were able to get through. This was clearly like she uncovered. Oh, this has been a long time, like really bad thing that you know I'm not okay with. All right, well I've asked you guys who burned their ex better. Miley or Shakira, I'm going to tell you the votes as we go. But first, I got to thank Tinkle Tits McGee. Oh, my gosh. Dropping the 50 and just a heart. Heart right back at you, Tinkle Tits. You know we love you. So good to see you. And thank you for that highly generous donation, along with Arena, Kristen. You guys have been awesome supporting today. Thank you so much for your support of the show as we get the votes in. We know, Steph, you voted for uh, for Miley as the better. better. Who burned their ex better? You're saying Miley did it better. What do you think, Kim? Who, who's Who's the better burner here? I feel like when you burn their mom too. <laughs> That's intense. I'm so with I'm you. I'm gonna go with Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. Oh, baby, when you burn like that, <laughs> you make your mother go, go mad. mad. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys agree with Kim and I. Seventy percent are saying Shakira. Thirty percent of you saying Miley. Uh, no. It's starting. To, it's 69th. It's going there, but it's about 70, 30 is where it's ne- it's leveling off at the beginning. We'll level it up. We'll keep it up for a little bit on the show. But there you go. All the drama explained uh, to really good artists. Let taking it out in the lyrics where I think that's the best place to do it. Let people make their own uh, determinations and and figure out their own. It's going to rel- there. Each people will other people will relate in their own ways based on experiences they've been through. So I say good on them. If you're going to let the drama out and you're going to do the shade, don't write a book that's talking about your brother's PP like Prince Harry. Just put it in a song because that's what, you know, you do as artists uh, out there creating new art with your uh, lived experiences. So bravo. Make sure you also uh, support It's Kim on YouTube. Steph the Alternate. You can subscribe to them all as well as here. Hit the bell for alerts. Smash that button. Smash the bell. Smash that like. We need more likes on the video as we uh, pivot off and try new topics for you guys to get into this pop culture justice and just sometimes some fun. We got lots more show on the live. So if you're just tuning in live, don't go anywhere. If you're watching on the replay, join and watch the full stream whenever you can. Appreciate you guys.